to miss him in another game. Well, well you probably think it's uh, your empty again, but it's not, of course. You'll see in a minute. Aspia. Gonna hear the bloody. <laughs> I thought I was gonna hear the uh, intro for uh, uh, the Terminator for a second. <laughs> dum 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 dum. Anyway, the game I'm playing, Diary. Oh. Cryostasis. Haha. <laughs> um, I've never played this before, at all. Um, never even tried it before. So this will be um an interesting game for me. And I've uh, it's made. I don't know if it's, if it's published by the same people that did Your Empty, or if it's made by the same people, I'm not too sure, but um, it's another one of those kind of um, strange style. I've, I've heard it's like Amnesia. A lot of people say it's very similar to Amnesia style. Um, not like Adventure Party, but like the the actual horror aspect and the style of the game was like, if not the gameplay, of course, but because Amnesia you can't kill enemies, but at least we've got guns. Um, but I hear the style is very similar. So it could be a pretty cool game. I'm looking forward to um, trying it. I went to try it for a long time, but my PC couldn't really run it that well. So, mm. but now um, I would need to give it a, a proper shot. Just low triangle ing. <laughs> Not one of those games where you're in a Rus Russian boat, I guess. Yeah. Like a lot of games, for some strange reason, you're in like somewhere in Russia for horror. Come on, loading. But anyways, um, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to do other games as well while I'm playing, or have I completed? Hmm. Uh, you're empty, and um, yeah, Crash Stasis was one of them. I had Clive Barker's Jericho as another. Um, Silent Hill two, three and four are the other ones I was going to do, and uh, finish Alone in the Dark. So, yeah, but I think um, this one I want to try because I've never actually played it before. So it'll be interesting for me to see um how the game is. My story is comfortless. It isn't sweet or happy as fictional stories are. It is shades of senselessness and confusion, of madman, madness and dreams. Oh, no, 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 it's gonna go for me. Like the lives of those people who no longer delude themselves. sides by impenetrable forests, and on the fourth by the steppe. They were a strong, brave, and cheerful people. But evil times came upon them. Other tribes came warring against them, and drove them into the depths of the forest. Mm. The forest was dark and swampy, for it was very ancient and the boughs of the trees were so closely interwoven that they shut out the view of the sky, and the sun's rays did all they could to pierce the thick foliage and reach the waters of the swamp. And wherever they reached those waters, poisonous vapors arose, and the people began to get sick and die. That does sound very nice. <laughs> They had to get out of the forest, but there were only two ways. One was to go back over the road they'd come, but at the end of it, strong and vicious foes awaited them. The other was to push forward through the forest, but there they'd encounter the giant trees, whose mighty branches were closely entwined, and whose gnarled roots were sunk deep into the mire of the bogs. They were a brave people, and they would have fought to the death with those who had once defeated them, had they not feared being wiped out in the fight. They had their forefathers' behests to defend, and if they perished, their behests would perish with them. So they're brave, but they feared to die. Yeah. 
So they sat, pondering their fate through the long night, with the poisonous vapors rising around them, and the forest singing its mournful song. And the shadows of the fires leaped about them in a soundless dance, and it seemed as if it weren't mere shadows dancing, but the evil spirits of forest and bog celebrating their triumph. Oh. Way well, doesn't look too well. This game's really pretty, that's for sure. I don't even got all the settings on. <laughs> The graphics are really, really nice. Right, hatch. Use the right mouse button to open the hatch. Ah. Is this for flashlight? That's a nice color of the flashlight. Oh crap. <laughs> the graphics are really nice. Really, really nice for this game. Okay, flashlight off. I, I'm digging this. This is going to be quick. I'm early, I think. Hello? Anybody here? Oh. oh crap. Oh boy. Whoa! Oh shit. Did I show me how you, how you died? Comes his butt. How come this body's here then? Oh well. You can run by holding the left shift button, but watch your yellow indicate carefully. It shows just. Yeah. Okay. I'm really out of fruit, this game. If you played it on, um. If you've got. A Really good PC though. This game can look really, really freaking beautiful. Um, sadly, my PC is like kind of old at the moment. I'm hoping to upgrade it soon, but it's kind of old. So, you might I want to see what happened to him. This game, holy crap. But yeah, if, if, if you've got... Bloody game. <laughs> yeah, if you've got a really good PC, this game looks really bloody lovely when you um, 
play for maximum settings. Like this for me, I think I've got like is um uh, textures and everything like that is higher, medium shadow as and um, some of the settings like the physics stuff. Some of it's on, some of it. Some of it. Oh. The game likes to go leg, leg, leg every so often. Get out of the way, pipe thing. <laughs> Hi there. Go, doggies, go. Barrel. So, from what I could tell, is um, I'm not sure if this, your, this is the character playing as who's um, hiding around in that thing. Ha, another one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Don't like it. Alexander Nesterov, a junior research assistant at the Pole 21 Polar Station, is due at coordinates 86 degrees 21 north, 74 degrees 57 east, on the 27th of March 1981, where he will board the nuclear icebreaker North Wind. Shut up, Doki. Shush! Trying to. I'm coming, dog. Wait for me. I'm coming, dog, dog. Mr. Wolf's. How do I get up there? saved okay well for now i think i'm gonna end it here um but i'm gonna quickly go boom, boom and then uh sign up them. thank you guys for watching once again um rate come subscribe tell me what you think of this playthrough if you like it if you like the style and if you think it's pretty good give me a shout and if i if you like it i will do a lot more but i'm loving this game out the graphics are really cool atmosphere is good the characters pretty boring but yeah it's kind of like that with all these kind of games and um yeah i'm really enjoying it so I might continue on for it anyway. <laughs> Don't matter what you guys think, well, it does really, but still. Anyways, um, thank you very much. I'll catch you for the next time. Cheerio. Bye-bye.